So I uh, I wanted to have a specific color uh, because I'm making like a parallel port here, and uh, the official color for a parallel port is usually blue, but it's a specific blue color. So I wanted to have that color in the exact correct shade into Fusion 360. And I couldn't find any good YouTube videos on doing this, so I'm just going to show how I figured out how to do this. It's sort of a workaround, but you get to the same point. So I start by downloading a picture of the original color of a, of a parallel port. So it's, this is the blue color I want. So I open Paint, and I, I copy the picture from the web, open Paint, and then I just click on the Select Color tool in Paint, and select a certain color. Now I have this color selected here. This is the foreground color. Now inside paint go to edit colors and then you have a red, green and blue value. Now these will be, <coughs> we will use them. You can also use the hue, sat and loom. But for now we're just going to use the red, green and blue because that's what we need. So inside Fusion 360 just open your appearance window and you can basically find a type you want to use, like I found nylon white and you just drag it onto your display and then you right click it and you select duplicate and in this case I did, did that and I created a new one here. First one I did, I right click the new color and I select edit, create a new name, call it parallel blue and then you go to the advanced tab and then you see we have the RGB values here. You click here and does it look familiar? It's exactly the same one that you have inside MS Paint. So I drag that to the side and pay note that it says Fusion here and then I just open Paint again and then bring up the same one with the edit colors and you just go and you select uh, what was it? 70, 138 and the last color was 211 211 there press OK as you can see, you got exactly that correct color. Press Apply and OK. Actually, it cannot be OK once you press Apply, but that's fine. But now you have the color saved here. And all you have to do now is you can just drag it onto the part where you want to use it. And you got the color you want. And then close and voila see here it's paint and it's the other one it always shows a little bit different of a shade inside fusion uh, but yeah that is how you populate with the same color